What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the Sauce Cast with Adam Sauce Nick. Let's get straight into it. You're on a business trip. You guys are businessmen. You're doing your thing. You're traveling. Uh, you meet this beautiful girl. She's classy. She's successful. She's smart. You really enjoy her company. She's 27 years old. She's an accountant. She makes 100 grand a year, and she has a three-year-old son. The good news is he's potty trained. Uh, <laughs> where do you gentlemen with no kids that I know about go from here, McQueen? She done. Yeah, I was about to say, it's a wrap. On to the next. And hit, and that's it. Recreational use only. Banging her. Yeah, for sure. And then what happens? I mean, it's fine. called a good old pump and dump, smush and push, smash and pass, buddy. An hour, bitch, you know? That's would it. you like to her to get in her pants, or would you be like, yeah, I'm only here to fuck? Like, well, I mean, if I do, do I know that she has a kid from the get go? Yeah. Yeah, you know. Then, yeah, no, I mean, I'm just immediately just trying to fuck. That's it, for sure. That's oh, it. Would so you that tell is, her that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. David, yeah, you meet this girl. What do you do? I made this mistake last time. Mm. Oh. Uh -oh. And uh, found out the hard way. That's actually kind of how I came bad. upon some of these podcasts about mm. the really? Red Bill stuff. Yeah. I what think was the situation? I'm sorry. Single mom had been divorced. Um, I think the problem is that men look at that very differently than the women do. It's hard to get our perspectives to be aligned, right? So okay. her perspective was very defensive. It wasn't, I made bad choices in life that brought me here. I'm grateful someone's given me a chance. It was, my kid's amazing. I'm amazing. You're lucky to be here. It was mm. very hard to get Stupid. on the perspective Stupid. I had, which was, this is definitely not ideal. Mm. I'm going out of my comfort zone. I'm expecting quite a bit of appreciation on it. And they were like, I don't owe you anything. Thanks, feminism. Guy, right? Right? Yeah. Am I right? And uh, it was like, that was a bad <laughs> Investment. Troy, you're at the club. You meet this gorgeous girl. You know her uh, situation. She's got the three-year-old. His name's Dylan, by the way. Oh. Uh, Dilly what Willy. are you doing with the girl? I mean, look, I personally, for me, I wouldn't want to get into something serious with a woman who has a kid. That's Absolutely just no, no disrespect to single mothers. That's just okay. that's just in my life. That's just not something. I'm sorry, that... but if you're a single mom, you belong to the streets. She's a runner. She's a track star. Simple as that. I would want to take on, so it, it would have to be casual, and I, I would make that pretty clear up front. You'd be I mean, up front. You're I'd not going to do the McQueen I mean, approach where you just, gotcha, bitch. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, look, I mean, the way that the way that I tend to move, I'm not going to be sitting down with her, you know, if this is kind of a one-night stand situation, sitting down to sort of, right, just to be clear, these are the terms of our engagement. I'm not going to be that sort of specific about it, but <laughs> she's going to kind of know from my vibe. She's going to get the, the, the idea, because I'm traveling a lot anyway. Do you know what I mean? So the whole setup is not going to be one that is likely to be leading towards something. Well, and then why would I want to play another man's save game? Why would I want to raise your snot-nosed brat? The thing is, it's a, it's a liability. Oh, does little guy want a carrot, Loki? Whoa! Do you want a carrot? Do you? Free. Free. Go to your place. My man loves these carrots. My man absolutely loves these carrots. Um, but yeah, playing another man's safe game, it's a liability. It's not an asset being a stepdad. It's a liability. Because number one, I can't discipline the child. Number two, that's not my child, so I'm not getting to build a dynasty or I'm not getting to build any sort of legacy with this child. And then number three, they're not even probably going to have my last name. Unless uh, unless you're with a single mom and she has one of your kids, I feel like that's a little bit better. But at the same time, I can't discipline this child like I would if it was my child. And now I have to deal with a baby daddy. Which that's just, that's crap. I don't want to deal with a baby daddy. Baby daddy suck. It's just more drama for me for no reason. When I could go out and I could get a younger woman who could get on my program, who could listen to me, who could follow my guidance, who could follow my leadership and has less trauma and less mileage. Oh, shit. It's just simple. Term, but so that would be my answer. I mean, effectively the same as McQueen's, but I'd probably soften the blow a little Kevin, bit. Kevin, do you have a different response? I don't avoid single moms. I've dated a few single moms, but I've found a selfish trait amongst most of them. There's not one single mom that I haven't dated who has not said something to the effect of, you know, what's important about you being around is I want my kid to see mm -hmm. his or her mother being loved right. Mm -hmm. And I don't. I'm like, what do you want to fucking make out in front of the kid? He's already Impossible. confused enough as it is. He's yeah. wondering where's dad and who the mm -hmm. fuck is this? That's yeah. all the kid is wondering. Any of us that had step parents and shit, mm -hmm. most of us mm -hmm. met our step parents like three o'clock in the morning, somebody's drunk and it's like, son, Jim is here because oh, your Jesus. father ain't shit. <laughs> and it's like, dude, very yeah, that, like introducing a, a step parent to a kid is traumatic. I had to go through it. It was awful. It's just confusing. You're like, who do I take serious? Who do I not take serious? And it's like, you want me to be invested in this man when I don't even know this guy. You barely even know this guy. And you want me to treat him like dad? Like, come on.
very confusing. So I really do um, take children and their their. So I know this guy has tremendous forearms. This guy looks like he works out all the time. An upbringing and innocence very serious so really i don't give a shit what the mom wants i'm thinking in terms of like what's best for the kid that you have i'll think for your kid before you do and think all this is going to bring him is confusion you need to keep completely keep these worlds separate if you're going to mm. fuck with so them. you're saying that she should not date anymore no or she's no, saying she should stay with the guy no, what's but a solution? lot of them are probably not you because you're you know just i was like i'm shit. very yeah, no, i know you're in different in every way and that's yeah. why everybody loves you but i mean um <laughs> no but yeah everybody this loves eagerness you. to like find the replacement stepdaddy thing yeah. is i've now, never i've never not come last out. question for the guys never and then i'm going to turn it over to the girls um would it be different would you have a different perspective if you actually had a kid already yeah so you're almost doing like a brady probably situation. Well, yeah but i don't, These guys don't no so no no so you're because just not trying to raise someone else's kid no because it's like now if i have my own kid now i got two little niggas i gotta take care of oh shit <laughs> yeah nobody wants that and yeah. same thing now my kid's wondering where's mom and who's this thought got it okay same thing troy if you had Confuse a kid would you be a little more comfortable uh no because i came from a you know i, I my parents divorced and then we got sort of put together into another family and I mean it, you know that was problematic it's not always like like Kevin was saying I mean when you when you think about the kids in these situations being brought up you know that there can be a lot of problems in those situations so I, I okay. would be very even if I had a kid I'd be very wary about just sort of like gotcha. shoving Ladies, it together here's where I need your help uh, how many people here have kids we're just single mom Tracy you're a single mommy. Janelle a so there's two of you ladies like, yeah. okay two single mommies um, don't look around look right at me Raise your red or your green. Should men date single moms? Hold it up high. Hold it up high. Pixie? Only if you're have, stupid. You should. Okay, guys, I, I don't <laughs> flicker it. They're in between. We have red, we have green, 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 green. So most of it is green. <clears throat> Four or five of you Why? is red. What's the so value Tracy, in it? Tracy, you put your green up. Yeah. Because you're a single mom. Well, and it's interesting. A lot of the women that aren't even moms are the ones that raised up their thing. Dude, he is going to town on that. Is that good? He, if you, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's straight ASMR crunching back there. And innocence, very serious. Dope as you are, I, I'm mentally. There's people in the world for everybody. I don't think anyone should be my son's father. I hate that. There's people in the world for everybody. No, there's not. If you're a cr if you're a crap human, you don't deserve anyone. The universe owes you nothing. The universe owes you no understanding, and you don't deserve anything. I think someone that's gonna come to my life will love me and eventually end up loving my son. Stupid. But I am not looking for a baby daddy. I am okay. looking for a partner. Mm, I'm and that's the difference. That's the problem. So, so nobody's replacing oh! that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so what would you say to the guy that's like, I don't even know, you're hot, you're cool, you're great. I can't even get over the fact that you have a kid, and as dope as you are, I, I'm mentally blocked. Then that means you're that that's not the person for me. Not go quite ahead. what I was saying, I, but go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Can I jump on what sure, you said? Sure, yeah. Because I have a lot to say, and I'll be brief, but I want to make a few points. First of all, you guys are all obviously talented and very much so respected in your fields, including oh, no. yourself. And I know your battle with having children back and forth. But What's my the, battle? Right. Well, you said you're yeah. ambivalent. I'm going to have kids one day. Yeah, with one day, the, but like the, when you were always like asking your friends, you really like it? Like, you know. What's sex, guys? Okay. I've never heard of this anyway, thing. Anyway. <laughs> what do you do with this? Complimenting us when they're naked. Well, I have no clue. I'll say, yeah. first of all, as there's a lot of single moms who have given single moms like myself a really bad no, rap. And they use men for resources, and they put their children before their serious committed persons whoever if they're married or not before their their needs like their spouse's needs right and i don't agree with that if it's a long-term serious thing so i think that that's to be said for why probably a lot of you and more reason you said i don't i don't want to raise two wait 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 i think i've seen her before she works at delulu lemon <laughs> <laughs> all right jafar get him shots fired shots fired get him honey two kids and that's honest and i appreciate that however what i will say the men that I've met and that I've dated and that have proposed to me. Um, That's a huge red flag that have proposed to me. What? Why aren't you married then? Wanted to marry me and they wanted to be a uh, stepfather to my son. Yeah. This girl's reaction. She's like, do you hear the hogwash dogwash that's coming out of your mouth right now? 
I wanted to be a stepfather to my son if, yeah. if I wanted that, yeah. right? Now, mm -hmm. the thing about me that's different from most women is even though I'm very masculine in how I'm speaking now because I'm trying to make a point, I'm very feminine. And I like Okay, I hate this. I hate this whole, like... I'm masculine, but I, I can be feminine. I, you, uh, and, and this is the whole thing. It's like these types of women, these masculine single mom women, think men have to earn their femininity. We don't have to earn your femininity. If that's the case, you have to earn our masculinity. On Saturdays and Sundays, I like to wear dresses. <laughs> And when we go out, I want you opening doors. No, no, oh, you don't want that? Okay, well, then we don't want the selective femininity. It's a give and a take. You want us to be masculine? I need you to be feminine at all times. It's not something, it's not a light switch. Kevin Samuels talks about this all the time. A lot of women are like, well, he needs to earn my femininity. You can't just turn that on. You either have it or you don't. And women like this don't because they've been forced to go into the workplace. They've been forced to become masculine because now they have to go earn money. But let's, let's hear the rest of this Delulu let the man take the lead and i don't um try to say my son and i are so cool we're the best no i let a man be gracious to me because i'm feminine and i serve his needs i make sure his sexual needs are served i make sure that his tummy is full and my son never and goes see another thing with these older women is i think they all have it figured out they're like i've got it all figured out these men have proposed to me i do this i do that it's all me 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 my 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 i i i it's very narcissistic and egocentric in my regard as far as the way she's just speaking and just her overall rhetoric and then she says she knows how to satiate a man well where's your freaking man stupid if you're so good makes no sense without trust me he he's had he's been to 14 15 countries already yeah. so i think the difference is that we care some men no disrespect to y'all right are not cut out for that because it takes a very extremely high alpha man i think that would be willing to say listen i saw all of you grimace i watched all your facial expressions hold on let me finish let me finish momentarily that will make it make sense where you got to be alpha enough to be a stepdad <laughs> Where are all the real men at that want to be stepdads? Just this girl's face over here is cracking me up. Willing to step in and raise someone else's son. That takes a very brave, bold man. And there are men out there in the world who will do it when they see the value of a woman that's serving them and saying, listen, did, yes. Did you say that there were men that wanted, openly came into your life and wanted yes. to help raise your kid? Yes. Where are they now? Well, I was going to tell Why you. didn't they make the cut? Well, Stupid. Because it's so alpha. Hold on, hold on. First of all, I didn't choose that, and here's why. And I won't get into my personal. I'll just give you one example. He's very famous. He's in the personal development world. He's on Tony Robbins' stage, more than Tony is. So if you know the Tony mm. Robbins world, you know who he is, and he's your color. Anyways, he was a lot older than me, and he didn't want to have more children, and I do. I'm going to have at least one or two more. So for me, that was... Honey, you look every day at 45. How are you going to have more kids? Your womb has cobwebs and dust in it. What are you talking about? He was very invested in my son, but I said, you know what? I, I'm waiting for that person who wants to have build our own family too. He adopts my son and we have one together. And so that's what I'm doing. And so I'm right now choosing to give my son a beautiful life. He travels with me around the world. I run my business. He gets to go to my retreats, et cetera. Alone. And that's what I do. And so I know I'm rare, but I do think it's a huge uh, missed opportunity that men are passing on really good single moms like myself because they feel some type of way about it. And, uh, and like she said, that's your prerogative. But you're all also missing the most feminine, nurturing woman on the planet, or that I've been told. That a girl. Troy, and then I'm going to come back to you ladies for a question. Yeah, she definitely works at the Lululemon. Shots fired! Shots fired! Dumb as hell. I, listen, I completely respect what you said, and you know you're you're you know you're you're a very inspiring woman, and it's it's, it's great to hear you say that. I mean, my my comment on that is, you're firstly, best. what you're doing is what a lot of women will do, which is kind of recontextualizing what alpha is. So I'll say, no, an alpha man, you know, a stepdad is a, is a man who steps up. You know, the guy who's prepared to take on my children, that's my definition of alpha. Okay, so no. you're defining alpha as that. Is that the, the actual objective definition of alpha? No. Maybe not. Everyone maybe maybe you could argue that the guy who just goes around the world and smashes a load of girls and has a fantastic time, is that not alpha? You would, you would argue not, I mean. because that's irresponsible, but that's another type of alpha. So that's the first True. thing. Second, secondly, I was actually on, um, I was on another podcast last night. I was talking to one of the girls there. She's got, she's got a couple of kids, okay? And she said that she's just recently got together with a dude, okay? They've been together two months. 
It's a long distance relationship, Stupid. okay? Because he's he's in a different state, and he's already said to her, "I want to marry you, and I want to look after your kids." After two months, mm. is that the action of an alpha male, or is that that the sounds pretty beta to me? Let me know in the comments. Knows her for two months, says he wants to move states, raise her kids. It j I'm just sorry, it just. It just doesn't, it's not, it's not reeking of alpha. Let me know in the comments. Is that alpha or is that beta behavior? To me, that's beta behavior, bro. ...of a guy who's needy and, and is saying bizarre. that because he's desperate to yeah. secure the, well, the that's, box. That's different that, from my scenario. We dated completely for, different yeah, to your oh scenario, but I'm just, I'm just saying that... Well, here's the thing with this chick, with Jafar. <laughs> <laughs> she got a guy that's of a, a super high status, right? He shares the stage with Tony Robbins. He's on stage more than he is, right? This guy's super high status already, because if he's hanging out with Tony Robbins, he's, he's got some value, right? Maybe he didn't want other kids. Maybe your old ass does want more kids. But the thing is, you think another man of that status is going to come in and be of that caliber and want to be with you? That's the level of delusion a lot of these single moms have, especially that are older. As they get older, they're, they think their worth goes up because they know more, they make more, and their value goes up. No, the opposite is true. Your value actually goes down. So these women think there's going to be more men out there. And it's like, you had a chance to get with a guy who was deemed high value amongst other people, right? He probably makes six figures. He probably is seen as a peer amongst other high value men. And you nexted him because he didn't want to give you one or two more kids. How many chances do you think you're going to get? These women go out there thinking it's just like they're going to have infinite at-bats. They're playing a baseball game, and it's 58 pitches. Like, whoosh, strike. Whoosh, it's okay. I get all the outs for every inning right here. It's like you don't get that many pitches. You've got to realize this is why I always say the universe gives you three pitches. you got to connect on one of them. You only get like three good intimate relationships because after that, your pair bonding goes down, and you can't really connect with someone. She's probably been ran through like a set of stairs. She's a runner. She's a track star. She probably got high mileage. She's got a kid, so you know, you know she's at least been bucked once and now she's older and she's dated a lot of guys she's gonna try to frankenstein a man eventually and then it's just i just don't think it's ever gonna work for her sadly she'll probably die alone somebody saying i'm prepared to look after your kids is not in itself necessarily indicative of alpha traits it could yeah, actually it, be addictive it could be. The let, me, let me get mcqueen's thoughts here mcqueen uh, are you being sold on becoming uh no the... he's not he doesn't want absolutely not he doesn't want to take care I'm not hearing none of this shit, really. You got the simplest answers. Yeah, There's nothing, you're, it, you're not playing this game. No, because it's just like, okay. how you going to tell me I'm not out because I don't right. want to fucking kids? You know what I'm it's, it's seriously, like, right, it's but. so stupid. But it's it's women having to justify their poor decisions by projecting their insecurities on men. Mic drop. Solid alpha is it can put up a really good risk benefit analysis, right? There you go. So if the woman is a great exception to the rule, you freaking head over heels more than anything you've ever felt in your life, that could be different. Yeah. But for the average single yeah. mother that you meet, a very basic risk benefit analysis that you you could look on data that's already available, you it's could a look bad at the deal. situation that you're presented with, probably not the safest route to go. I think the truth is that's And she's we'll older, like bro, no. We're all doing and that's right, and, and that's a normal that's thing to do. Yeah, that's a responsible fine. thing and, to do, and, and I no think that's what telling, an alpha would do at the end no of the day. And no one's telling the other side that this shows up as a debit on the ledger, so you're going to have to make up for it in another side because that's right. distasteful. It, it creates an argument, like, and I think we grimace. Well, a lot it of people across. do that. I mean, they look at they'll say, "Oh, that I don't count because I have a kid." And I'm no, like, that, you, no, don't you don't because count because you said that comment. There's lots of things that aren't ideal, I, but you can make educated decisions. Most women in their 20s, and I will surpass all of them in regards to the character characteristics that I bring to a man I believe and to his that. life. Okay, so let me, let me get Tracy back in the mix because Tracy, you're so nice and sweet. And see, this is another thing that these older women do is they like to shame younger women. I will surpass all of these younger women. Well, no, you're not because we value your youth, your fertility, and your beauty. You've lost your youth, you've lost your fertility, and your beauty's fading. So a lot of the things we value as men, fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, and no kids outside of us, your value's gone. Baby girl, it's like being at a poker table, going all in, losing the first hand, and being like, I still have more money. No, you don't. It's a wrap for you. It's like playing blackjack and hitting on 20. I'm good. I'm staying. I'm not going to be hitting on 20. I'm not trying to get with you. You're a single mom. You're a single mom. It's just a bad deal for guys. Why would I want to date an older woman who has a kid that's a liability? I can't discipline this child, as opposed to going and get a younger woman who could get on my program.
It just makes no sense. But these women need to hear this stuff. This is why this channel and other channels exist, is so we can preach some rationale into these women and some logic, which they seem to be allergic to. But it's absolutely it's absolutely insane to me that this older woman thinks that her value is higher now that she makes more money and she's more masculine as opposed to when she was younger. Like, are you kidding me? The opposite is true. As women get older, their value goes down. As men get older, usually their value goes up. It's just how it goes. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Loki's asleep now because he had his breakfast carrot. Um, but I love you guys, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.